Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are in the best of your health. I hope you must be uh, enjoying this new method of learning. So today myself, Nisha Soni, a faculty member of Sri Vashist Vidyale, is here with you all to share a new topic in science that is parts of plant for grade 3. Okay, as the topic goes, parts of a plant. So what are the parts of the plant? Flower, leaf, fruit, stem, root. Today we will discuss about the two main parts that are root system and shoot system. So what is shoot system? Shoot system grows above the ground. The stems, leaves, branches, flowers, fruits and the root system it is usually underground. Now let's have a look on the root system. So roots generally grow below the ground and what are their functions they keep the plants fixed to the soil so roots hold the soil and keeps the plant fixed okay then they help the plants to absorb water and nutrients present in the soil so whatever water and nutrients are present in the soil they are absorbed by the roots for the plants why because the plants needs them to make their own food by the process of photosynthesis using air, water and sunlight. Now, there are two types of roots. Tap root, fibrous root. Now, let us have a look on them. Okay, so what are tap root or what is tap root? A tap root is a large thick root that grows straight down from a plant in order to collect what water and minerals from deep in the soil that is the main function of root to collect water and minerals and you see children the tap root is a single root or a thick root that grows straight down from a plant okay it has small roots branching out of it so what are the examples of tap root they are radish, beetroot, carrot and many more. Now what is the next? Fibrous root. Okay. Fibrous root system is composed of a bunch of small branching roots. A bunch of small branching roots that grow outwards from the plants. They do not go deep into the soil. So they do not go deep into the soil. And they are what? A bunch of small branching roots. And what are the examples? Onion, wheat, etc. Now, let us come to stem. As you all know, stem is the main part of the shoot system and it grows above the ground. It grows above the ground. The other basic parts of a plant, what are they? Leaves, flowers and fruits, they also grow on the stem. Now children, what is the function of stem? It provides support for the plants and keeps it upright. See, the roots, they hold the soil to keep the plant fixed. And what do the stem do? They provide the support for the plant to keep it upright. It allows the leaves to reach sunlight that they need to produce food. Okay, why? Because leaves are the kitchen of the plant. Then it carries water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to the leaves to other parts of the plants. What do they do? They carry the water and nutrients that is absorbed by the roots to the leaves and other parts of the plants. Now what are the examples of stem that store food? They are sugarcane, potato, ginger and many more. Now as the stems can be soft or hard, weak or strong, the plants can be classified into trees, shrubs, herbs, creepers and climbers. So what are trees? Trees, they have thick hard woody stem known as trunk okay example your mango tree your favorite then coconut etc 
then comes your shrubs so what are shrubs they are short woody plants with several stems growing near the ground example your rose tulsi which you can easily find at your home then comes your herbs children usually herbs have green stems as your grass and many more examples you can see here thyme rosemary etc okay herbs are also medicinal plants now climbers what are climbers they are plants with weak stems that need some support to grow upright yes climbers have very weak stem and they need some support to grow upright for example your money plant grape vine peas etc last is your creepers now creepers are weak plants that creep along the ground what do they do they creep along the ground as they grow now examples are pumpkin watermelon isn't it now with this children i have finished the root system and shoot system in the next video i'll share with you all some basic knowledge on other parts of the plant that is your flowers fruits okay and leaf now i have given you this home assignment that is practice this diagram in rough notebook okay so that you will easily identify the different parts of the plants till then take care of yourself happy learning stay safe stay home thank you